Today I will be demonstrating the XS650 top end oil pressure gauge. Here is the gauge. This is a too many XS1Bs modification. All credit for this goes to too many XS1Bs. I modified, I, uh, I mounted the bracket a little bit differently than too many did. Uh, as you can see, I've taken the uh, upper fork pinch bolt and made a bracket around it. And uh, that's how it's mounted. Uh, and then down here, here is the, uh, there's the fitting, uh, which too many XS1Bs made for me. That's a modified fitting that screws into a M6 hole in the top of the oil feed pipe. You'll also notice below, this is the Hayden Tuning oil cooler. It's a clamp-on aluminum radiator style cooler, which I doubt does very much. Anyways, okay, I think we're ready to start it. Oh yeah, uh, uh, before I start it up and things get noisy, I just wanted to show you that this is my neutral light. Uh, this is a fake alarm flashing red light with a separate switch. And what I've done here is, this is the stock gauge bracket, but I've removed the, the tongue, which goes up here, uh, removed that and smoothed it down, and then added these holes for these two, uh, for these two lights. Uh, also, while I'm here, this is my voltmeter off, on, off, on. So this is my voltmeter. This is a cost me like five or six dollars from Harbor Freight. Uh, I'm on my second one right now. It's not dampened. Uh, it's my first one lasted about three years and I'm now on my second one. I'll also mention that the oil pressure gauge, this is the dampened version of the oil pressure gauge. It cost twenty dollars shipped to my door. Uh, too many, when he did his, he used a non-dampened one, but he put uh, vibration mounts on his mounting. So that's how he got around that. So uh, we're going to come down here to the carburetor. Uh, when I do a cold start, I put the choke on. And I've got a, uh, this here, the idle stop screw, is a really big stop screw from a XT500. So uh, I like to idle it way up when I do a cold start. So this is going to be a completely cold start. Also, while I'm down here, uh, this is the clear stator cover from member Artec, also known as Brass Cycle Works. And behind it, if you see these two black things, those are LEDs. This is the LED timing light modification, another modification from Too Many. Uh, so Too Many gets a lot of credit in this video. I'll also mention, I uh, forgot to say this, uh, Too Many, not only did he make that little adapter fitting that goes on the top of the oil feed tube, he also was very generous. He gave me the nylon tubing, which I slipped black heat shrink over. The black heat shrink was almost a perfect fit. In fact, I, I never even shrunk it. And uh, too many also gave me the little brass uh, compression fittings. So thank you, too many. So I think we're ready to start it. Key on. Uh, the choke is on. I've cranked up the idle stop screw. Uh, this is the initial test of the pressure gauge. Uh, the thermos dipstick is reading 68. This is a cold start of the t cold start test of the top end oil pressure gauge. Choke off. Hot. 
idling at about 1100. I, I just backed down the idle stop screw a little bit. Uh, I'm getting a pressure of about two and a half at about 1100. Now rising a little more, going up to about four and rising. Still at about 11 or 1200. It's going to idle it down again. Back to 1100. Oil pressure a little bit below four. Okay, I just finished a little warm-up ride. It's uh, the thermo dipstick is reading about 170. So I got 170 on the thermo dipstick, which is not real hot. This engine easily gets up to 200 in the summertime. And my oil pressure, according to the gauge, is zero. Zero. I'm going to rev it up a little. At 4,000, I'm going to shut it down. At 4,000, I was getting about 1 PSI. I noticed when I was riding, uh, I do most of my riding at about 3,000 RPM, I would say, and uh, I was getting maybe a quarter PSI to a half PSI. Again, that's, a, that's riding around 3,000 RPM, so I would say that's a little bit discouraging.